Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Friday, October 9th, 2009. This morning I'd like to take a look at one small thing that will improve your browsing experience in Syncom Small Talk, and that's color syntax highlighting. Now, you may wonder why that's not loaded by default. As you can see here in this browser I brought up in a basic VisualWorks image, nothing's highlighted here in any way, shape, or form. The reason it's not integrated is because it's really contributed code that has a bunch of overrides in places that don't make it really engineering quality. Perfectly good enough for you to use yourself, but not really good enough for our engineers to feel comfortable with integrating it yet. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and find out how to load it. Go to the Parcel Manager and bring that over here. Now go into Popular and you'll find it's right here, RB Code Highlighting. All you need to do is right click and load and that'll bring it in. Now once that's in, you can see a bunch of things loaded here and that's the main reason that it's not integrated is it depends on a bunch of third-party components that as I said, do some overrides. But let's open a browser, bring that up to the view. Let's go back to the same place we were before, and we'll take a look at that method. Now, notice here, this is highlighted because this is a shared variable, class, reserved word, so you can see how things work. Everything's a little clearer now. If you don't know Smalltalk all that well, or even if you do, and you just want to be able to visually pick things out without having to think about it, nice addition to have in the image. Now, one small thing you can do, go to System, Settings, and if you want to change that a little bit, you go down here to the highlighter. And you notice there's a couple of things. Highlighter, you can do some things here as far as how it's going to work. Code source, where it's going to highlight things. And some things on style. So you can change, say, global variable references to that color. You can change this. You can change qualified references, block argument definition. You can go through the whole list and see what you want to do. And if you don't like this color scheme, you can change it. If you want to make it to something other than color, like bold, italic, maybe you're red-green colorblind and the colors we pick just don't work for you, you can change all that. So that's about it for today. Till next time, have fun with small talk.